So we're actually in the middle. So guys, we were actually in the middle of a disciple run. So this is. Let me just fill you in on what's going on here. All right, real quick. And how you doing, Trico? And with Mr. Lim, how you doing, Scalinary? And Heal, how you doing? Lots of junk food. I hear you. I hear you. Okay, so we're in the middle of a run here. I'll just bring up speed. The disciple is somebody who apparently takes out the time meter, where you try to take some. So basically, there are cards that are like mimic relics. Let's just put it that way, right? So I have, for instance, Locked War Paint. It's a replica that is like the War Paint relic, and each turn upgrade all skills in your hands. And then we have uh, oh Salamandra with the Twitch Prime. Welcome. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Welcome to the gym pool. Uh, why do I still have me, uh, guys? Somebody needs to just tell me. Listen, get off Muxi altogether. But thank you so much. Okay. Oh yes, yeah, so we have things like uh, locked war paint, locked astrolab. Um, which w it, this 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 is actually insane. This astrolab. Let me let me explain what's going on with this deck. Maybe you guys can understand what I'm saying and get it get up to speed. So right now, what this deck is doing. Lock Astrolab, it replicates Astrolab, so each turn, you play this and it lasts for three turns, like a little orb, right? And you exhaust the cards from your hand and you get to choose what card to add to your hand from a selection of three, like No Rise, and upgrade it. So not only are you exhausting your deck, you're choosing a card to add, like No Rise, and having an upgraded version of it. And that lasts for three turns. It doesn't stop there, though. There's a thing called the Resonant Call. This mimics the effect in the card of the last card you played. Okay, I play Locked Astrolab, I do Resonant Call. Now I have two things. I'm exhausting two cards, choosing two cards every turn. No rice times two. Upgraded. Things like Lock Mall Bank. This game is gold if you survive combat without shattering, and this shatters in seven turns. You can play that multiple times. There's a thing that does. Um, uh, one second. I was a little tired when I was first doing this. I remember I was like a long, long stint. All right, there's so alternate timeline. Discards a card, you choose a card from your drop pile and place it into your hand. So you use alternate timeline to dig into, it's like Seek, you dig into Resident Call, so you can play things like uh, Ast Astrolab twice or Mobbing twice, right? Then there's this thing called Second Hand, which re retains cards, so you can retain cards like Wally Plans, and also have Wally Plans myself, which I could use to um, retain and do these combos. So basically my combo right now is doing stuff like that, and I'm taking alternate timelines twice, because I, I like the idea of just... Having, I want to recall Resident Call as much as possible. Like I want to have that in my hand and do these things as much as possible. There's also another thing called Exo Coding, which gives you plated armor, which is kind of crazy. And then when you play, it switches into a just block, so it becomes a ten block for one or three plated armor, and yeah, it can keep stacking, which is insane. So obviously, this is like there's some bugs, not bugs, but like uh, some very strong stuff here. And another thing here is like we have specific relics. Like uh, whenever I play a delayed attack, I get a ward. And a ward is like a zero cost block card that exhausts. Now that's relevant. These wards are relevant because this has the slow debuff. Like you are able to do the slow debuff with this class. Now on this final boss, I don't think you guys saw. Some of you guys probably don't remember this run at all. But we beat the boss and we picked up Rage Command. It's just 48 damage to all enemies two turns from now. So that is a delayed attack. So I'm going to get a ward. And I'm also going to do 38 damage two turns from now. It's a little expensive, but you got to keep in mind. I have the ability to retain. So, the Disciples starting relic is cards in your hand cost one less energy for each turn that are retained. Okay? So, if I retain this card for one or two turns, this becomes a one mana 48 bomb, which seems redundant because by the time I'm already holding it for two turns, do I really want to do 60 or 48 damage three turns from then? I don't know. It seems like it might not be that great, but we'll see. Um, and let's go. It seems hard, a lot of stuff. Maybe when I play, you guys will uh, understand a little bit. So we're just gonna go for the energy relic. Boom, easy. Are uh, the effects forever just one combat? So that's just a big bomb, exactly. And we we can do it for cheaper. It's just like it's better. A, is that time relevant? So we're gonna go for elites and we go for shops because we have a lot of removal. So we can go one, two. We have for what I see right here is I see three removal. One, two, three removal. And then we do two elites here. Uh, this is actually a great path. I'm going to destroy this. The game's still a little loud for some reason. Right, so this is a good time to reach command. Okay. If I get it this early, I, I guess I don't mind. Matter of fact, let's discard a defense. And let's choose what we want to bring in. We can bring Astrolab now. Or what we could do is... Um... Uh, man, it's hard. 
I want to upgrade second hands because I want this to be um I want to be able to retain two cards. What do I want to bring into my hands? First of all, let's lower the sounds. How you doing, random, uh, random, random, random Sam I guy. Random Sam I guy. I, I might have just butchered your name. All right, so what do you want to bring? Let's just let's not think about this too much. Uh, whatever. Let's just do second hands. And we're retaining echo co echo coding. Right, so we'll play this. We're retaining echo coding. Oh, so the delayed attack reward happens immediately. Interesting. So this gives me plated armor, and then we can also do Astrolab. Um, we can apply damage. We can do six damage, apply slow. Now, this is interesting. There's cards that switch. So, this thick goo becomes acidic goo, which becomes something like viscous goo, which they all do different things. The fist one is just zero. It's like a slice that applies slow. The other one is a beam cell that, so it's just three damage, apply too vulnerable. And then viscous goo, I believe, applies weaken. It's a neutralize. So, it's a neutralize, it's a beam cell, and it's a slow, all in one card. And this form change that when you play it it retains between battles so if i play thick goo now and don't play acidic goo then acidic goo is gonna be the card i'm gonna see next next fight skylinary thanks for twitch prime welcome anyways um so let's do astrolab which i can exhaust and add a random new card uh that, that card needs to be upgraded i need a lot of upgrades right now i do want to get rid of this guy's debuffs i want to get some plated armor and i'll just do defend defend Wait a second. Oh my god, wait a second. Oh. Oh, I, got, I just realized. Oh god. No, it just came to, it just like, it just hit me. This plays a ward every turn until the effect happens. So I'm getting... It's like four block. Just waiting for my thing to activate. That's insane. Gain nine block. All enemies gain 11 block. That's, that's interesting. That's interesting. Do I want to give this guy 22 block? Why not? Another thing we could do is like, you know, we like golds. And I want to maybe do mall bank resident call and get that gold going. Because we do have... I can't even see my delayed attack. It's somewhere, but... Oh, the delayed attack is on him. At the end of this round, do a 48 damage. What's going to happen to him? Okay. Do I care about taking damage? I mean... I could do Resident Call. I could do Break Resident Call and not take any damage. Keep in mind, I have Plated Armor. Plus, I have the. I think the Ward is going to proc this turn. So, wait, Clock and Load is interesting. So, I increase the Counter Timer by one. So, this is also another card that switches. But this, what this does is it basically allows the relics that you have up, uh, it lasts longer. Starting Relic is that whatever card, every card you retain. They cost one less energy for each turn they retain. So if you were, there's a lot of retaining abilities like while they plans, and there's also cards in the base set that retain called second hands. Um, so when you retain cards, they'll go down to zero costs. So you, if you can end up retaining four or five cards, you just play. And it's just insane. It gets it gets nutty. I want to get gold actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and do mall bank resident call, and I'm not gonna worry about. I'm not going to worry about the uh, little bit of damage I'm, damage I'm taking. Because you want to know why? I just realized. Um, we have the ability to heal up. Well, like short-sighted to heal up. And also we have the ability to get Blood Vial. Blood Vial Relic. So it's insane. And we also... This pattern Shift. I forgot to mention, guys. Pattern Shift is a card that retains by itself and then it, it, it shows you, you you can basically shift the enemy's intentions so if you notice that little animation I can um make it do its double attack as opposed to doing 10 I don't want to do that but it, it is an interesting card you just kind of hold on to it if you want to use it just got two cards choose two cards from a draw pile um let me see here so the delayed attack already happened this is doing 25 damage but this is doing it's a little complicated isn't it I wish I could draw so I could use this. Clock and load crash your game, really? So clock and load really meant to see clock and reload your game? Overclock and re reload your game? Yeah, Blood of Deeds, I'm out. How you doing, buddy? You want to see the new relics? Okay, so there you go. This was uh, every card you retain costs one less energy for each turn they retain. And then this is the specific to... The disciple, the delayed attacks play a ward each turn. So we just discovered that I have a card that, in three turns, 
does 48 damage and every turn those three turns before it's activated i get a little ward which is a zero cost zero cost exhaust card that does give you four block anyways uh let's see here i guess we just take damage you know we don't really care we'll do allegro we'll do um we'll do a little bit blocky block and we'll just heal up because I think I'm gonna end the fight before. Uh, actually, I may not end the fight before that becomes relevant, so I could be in trouble here. Oh, okay. Whenever you got a wait, what? You get a med kit whenever you draw a status or curse. Oh, this says whenever you draw a status or curse, or whenever you draw a status or curse card, exhaust and draw a card. Really? That's nuts. All right, I want to kill this guy because I'm about to um. At the end of three turns, I'm gonna lose 20 health. I don't want to do that, so I want to win before that happens. So I want to bring back. I'm gonna do Allegro now. Allegro and like. Uh... Prime time. All right, we get our gold, right? How much gold we get? 24. Nice. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, what's up, buddy? Do I do daily challenges? No, I don't, I don't, I don't typically do daily challenges. No, I, I typically do like uh, we do like Ascension Twenty Act Four stuff. We just play that. Sometimes I do it. Very rarely I do daily challenges. But sometimes I'll be maybe I'll be in the mood and I'll do it. It depends. Uh, but it's not that's not typically my thing. Uh, do six damage returns from now. All subsequent cards. Play this turn. Also play a ward. Gain one strength. Dexterity artifact or retain for each enemy based on his intent. Wait, what? So based on what the enemy is doing, I can gain strength, dexterity artifact, or retain. Hey, J J S D K, welcome, man. Welcome to the stream. So this card can do what like, various different things based on their intent of the enemy. Is that what it's trying to tell me right now? Oh, no, wait, 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 for each enemy, so this is AoE? So if there are multiple enemies are doing multiple things, I can, like I say, they're attacking somewhere, blocking, whatever, or do nothing, I gain, like, some mix of strength, dexterity, artifacts, or team. I mean, I kind of want to just pick this and see what it's all about. And one thing I don't like about this mod in particular is, not that it's bad, because it's not bad, it's just that I have to think a lot. That's okay, I guess it's fun. It's, it's okay to take our time. All right. <laughs> what is this? Paper turtle. Slowed enemies begin each turn with an additional three and three slow. Interesting. Innate. Draw two cards. Draw two cards, switch to fall back. So spring forward is an innate that draw. You, you start off with this and you draw two cards, right? Opening hands. So you can think of it like as like a one cost back of prep. And then when you play it, it turns into a fall back, which becomes a gain two energy for zero. Exhaust like it becomes seen red Returns to your hand as a permanently transformed card based on the enemy intent There are 14 different intents in the game each with their unique own new card that corresponds to the intent so basically I Don't know if I want to try tempo. I think I want to keep the deck small. We're gonna do something uh, We're gonna go and check it for some strikes. We're gonna keep the deck nice and small. I like. I think Wallet Plans is very good in this deck, uh, this this class because every time you hold onto a card, retain, you get less. They cost less, so more Wallet Plans the better. I know Ori Kalkin was so transform two cards into random replica cards of the same rarity. You come across a familiar cat perched by the side of the room and studying a group of relic paintings intently. There are two spots for two more paintings lying empty in the dust. Okay. You can transform two cards and then get relic cards based on the rarity. So I can just get rid of the strike and get two common stuff, two common relics. I don't know. If, I don't even know if there are common powers. I, I want, I'm kind of curious because I want to get rid of the strikes to see what we get. Okay, the cat touches gives you a glance and saunters away. As you look down, you notice that the only two 
that only the two of yours remain, but they aren't the same as when you placed them ages ago. Let's see. So I got Anchor and Lock Blood. Okay. I'll tell you what, these are very com great common relics. Is this upgrade of this turn to innate? Can't see. I can't see. It, why, are you, why are you covering the, the... Okay. How about now? Can I read it now? Okay. Be swift, get a relic. Yeah, sure. I think all works very good because I'm, I'm not often playing. Um, I think executing is very good. I'm not often playing. Um, get more executing. I'm not playing Appreciate too many execs. Your work, man. Thanks for the three months, boo. Hey, thank you, Willis. Welcome back, man. Three months in a row. Appreciate that. I appreciate your sub as well. Thank you, dude. All right, so we want to upgrade the. Um, well, Resident Call is very nice because it's self-retaining and that's just very strong because we want to we want to duplicate a lot of cards. We have so many upgrades we want to do. I need I need to upgrade Wally Plants. I need to upgrade. Ah, uh, it becomes it on Shatter against Ten Block as well. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. What's up, Anthony? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, I see. That. I see the changes. I see it. Game block and shatter as well. It's cool. Okay, okay. Um, this card, second hand. Second hand is like the neutralized upgrade. Is the fact that you can retain two cards is very powerful. Nah, so the thing is, uh, right now, this because of the situation of my microphone. Because of the situation of my microphone, I actually don't have, um... If I put it down, the, not only is it thumping sometimes, which is, I try to avoid, but it still happens anyways. There's also, um... I, I, I want to try this. I don't understand, but the quality is kind of bad when you, when you try to listen to it. Like, I'll show you. Watch. This is. We'll, we'll give it a whirl. This is how it sounds when I'm like not holding it. Trust me, I do not love holding it. You got that. You got the mistake. I do not love holding this. So this is the states over here. I think if you guys think the quality is okay, but there might be some bumping or something like that. Just because the situation right now is just like. Quality could be better. It's fine. Gains. I want to try this. Whoa, we got watch command. That's probably pretty good, but I want to try analog. All right, so I'm getting to strength. So if he's attacking, I'm getting. I like how it shows at the top right. If I'm what I'm getting, so I'm getting strength. So let's go ahead and um, do war paint, which is gonna upgrade all my skills for the rest of combat. And right now I'm retaining how many cards? I'm retaining only one. But if I play this, I'm retaining two cards. Now, if I do exocoding into Resident Call, I'm gonna get eight plated armor, and then if I do that and just do that, I weaken him. Okay, I'm losing some. I'm losing some life, but we get um. So we get strength again, and we can get rid of. I guess we're gonna use Rage Command to kill him. We're gonna get rid of the defense. We're gonna bring it up with. We'll do 44 damage attack when the target target enemy is sleeping or stunned. Now I don't have the ability to do that. 
Deals jail damage for each card that I use exhaust in this combat, increase damage by four. Now, I've only done three exhausts, so right now it's only going to be 12, but this is going to get pretty nutty, actually. Oh, by seven. Okay, so this is going to... That's going to be a good kill move. So what I want to do here is... I want to maybe draw into... I want to play Rage Command, but I also want to hold on to it so it's cheaper. And what's interesting, but by playing Rage Command... So I have Spring Shield, right? So Rage Command is going to be playing wards each turn before it activates. And that's going to help Overtime get bigger. So not only is Rage Command going to do damage in three turns, which is a lot. And then it's, oh, Overtime is going to get pretty big. So I think we have a way to kill. That's, that's how we're going to kill. But right now, I want to do is increase their timers. Because I don't want to lose Mall Bank. And I want to have... Uh, more plans. I also want to have more uh, blood vial. Oh, I haven't played blood vial. My bad. This is self-retaining, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyways right now. Let's go ahead and block. Actually, right, so I can hold on to two cards. All right, so let's do um, these two. And now we're going to play Rage Command, which is going to give us the the wards. This each replica counts down and plays two cards from your draw pile. So this is kind of nice. I just play a whole bunch of cards from my draw pile. That's where it's kind of insane. I, I don't know what happened. I, I feel like it it played a lot of stuff, didn't it? Holy mackerel. So overtime is getting huge. Now nah, I played a ward because of that. Okay. And we're just going to finish with overtime, I suppose. It's kind of nutty. More strength. I have 12 strength now. I could just win. I'll win next turn. Di oh, di I'm not losing Malbank. Okay, good. I didn't want to lose Malbank. Oh, I had, did I have slow debuff? Oh, he has a slow debuff. That's why I could have won there. Jesus. A little complicated, but we're getting the hang of it, I suppose. Bronze skills, I like it. I just I feel like... Apply five slow. Okay, I feel like I want to... Um, I want to keep the deck smaller. A lot of nice things I can add, but I don't want to. Alright. Whoa, what's up, Blah? How you doing? I finally managed to be act four of all the characters. It took me a while to do, but I'm proud to say I got it done. Congrats, dude. How long is it? Okay, so it's normally the um, streams are usually like seven hours, six to seven hours, but they've lately they've been going longer. Normality is not fun, but we do have the ability to remove it pretty easily. So this card doesn't exhaust itself, so this is just gaining two strength, two dexterity and artifacts, just like willy nilly. It's kind of nice. I'm gonna get Thrasher Lab again because I think the ability to just exhaust whatever I want and get upgraded No Rise card is amazing. A little bit to the party here. Mind giving you some more sense of what this character is all about. Seems like defect orbs, but are just artifacts. Okay, so this character has powers that replicate relics. I guess that's a good su summary. And then it has a lot of retention. And the retention. Uh, Makes the cards cause one less energy.
Did I just go for full block? Why not? So, for instance, I I have Blood Vial Relic. I have uh, Wally Plans. Well, there's also it also replicates powers of other classes as well. It's a mix of everything. That was my bad. I'm getting three artifacts. Because they're doing buffs, I'm getting three artifacts. That's kind of interesting. I want to make sure they're attacking. I can get multiple strength from, the, from them attacking. I want to do Astrolab. So what's nice is that this analog just self-retains itself. Oracle form. Instead of drawing your hand, choose five cards from your draw pile. For simile, create replicas of X of your eligible relics. Create replicas of your X of your eligible relics. So, if I, can I create four Oricalcums and if I do nothing, it will give me 24 block? Is that how it's going to work? I kind of want to try it. Do I just get 24 block, or is it only apply once? Let's try it. Let's try it. What was the upgrade here? I'm gonna try it out. I, I, I don't know if it's gonna work. Oh. So since it only applies... Okay, okay, that makes sense. Alright, I guess I figured that would happen. For some reason, I thought it might get, it might get like tw some cheeky little 24 block, but nah, it just gave me rocks. <laughs> Play all powers in your hands? What? And my discard pile? Oh, you have a limited amount. There's actually a. So because of these rocks, I didn't get the full value. Okay, it's good to know. This is crazy. <laughs> okay, dude. Alright, my goal here is to get like Do four damage two times for each unblocked hit, retain one card to this turn. Supplies seven damage to all and plus to all enemies. Let's just spring forward here. Maybe a plan that would have helped me kill this guy though. Double slow here. <laughs> this is all cool and all, but you point the nine damage of a bird. Wait, rage command is happening, don't worry. Don't worry, okay? Just give it a second. See, I win. See? It's just... Oh, at the end of that round. Oh. Right, at the end of their round. Okay. I knew that. Right. What's up, Ghost Bird? I haven't missed much, man. You just missed a lot of uh, War Relic creation. Uh, Echo War's interesting. So, all subsequent cards play, also play Upgrade Award, which basically... Griffith Slow, but no, I'm gonna keep the deck small, guys. Wait, what does Reap do? 
Reap and sow. <laughs> now I want to do this. I want to remove the malady. Although it doesn't matter with Ashlip, I could. I guess I kind of like exhaust it. No, nah, but I don't want to. I don't want to be fall to the chance of like normality messing me up. Okay. Yeah, the deck is lacking a little bit of damage. I, I can agree with that. I gotta upgrade this because I'm self retaining. So far, sir, how are you doing, buddy? Uh oh. It's gonna hurt a little bit. It's gonna be a rough fight, actually. This actually might be one of the first times where, like, I play a, a, a modded character and I'm, I'm, I might just die. I mean, I used to die before. It's been a while since I've, like, died on the first go through of it. Let's see. Happy uh, early, happy early birthday, man! What does this mod do? It's it's complicated. Give me a sec. You retain cards, right? You you, Jesus. I want to play this, but I also don't want to die. Naturally. Hmm. Hmm. It's painful. I guess you have Ori Calcum, so it's not bad. Not the end of the world. That ruins your recalcum. That's not fun. We're gonna survive, don't worry. It's all gonna be okay. That's not fun. Does he do a deep buff when he does this? No. Not that it mattered, but... What's up, Pepper? How you doing? It's covering... I know, I can't, I can't move that. I can't move the fact that that's covering that. Oh, man. I'm sorry, I wish I can commentate better, but it's like, I'm kind of figuring things out as well. I wish I can commentate better here. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, but for some reason... Okay, we're alive. That's all that matters. That was crazy. This becomes a self-retaining card, so it is, this is actually insane. Blue Shift's insane. So it's just 14 block at first, but then next turn, since you self-retains, it's going to be one one mana for 14. So it's it's not immediately the best value immediately, but we have Ori Kalkum here. This is actually getting kind of dicey. It's between Ori Kalkum or blocking for 10.
The modders put it in the best spot. Uh, this is this is an old one. It's an old, this is, I didn't realize how old this was. I thought this was. Play all your powers in hands. I didn't call a quote of Vibrissa it means I take no damage, right? So if I do quote of uh, Vibrissa and then Resident Call, I'll take no damage. Which is probably better. But this plays powers. There's only one. I'm gonna do this just so I don't take damage. Also, I want to have more I want to have more resin call in my deck. I do need more damage, yeah, I do. I, I'm hearing bloops as well. I gotta, I gotta see what's going on there. I, when, I, I should probably just start a fresh new run because when I did this. When I started off this run. I was kind of so caught up in this whole like Astrolab thing that maybe I didn't make the best deck. So now I'm just heal up because I, I have bird for instance, whenever I play powers, I just... That should be kind of nice. And when I do this... I play everything from my deck, but I actually want to... don't want to... I, I don't want to do that. I actually want to, um... I want to play all my powers to just heal up here. <laughs> What's up, Cat Catfish? Yeah, it's a mod. There's my damage. Prime time's my damage. Just wanna play all the powers though. I'm gonna play a double mall bank to get golds. Wanna heal up? Okay. We're gonna kill now though, alright? I know we have tons of relics and know we're doing all this crazy stuff and the guys haven't got any lower in life. We're gonna change that right now. Uh, I don't want that. Deal Fibonacci damage. Yes. More gold. Yes. Fibonacci damage. Uh, I would do more. Do I get more for do vulnerable? Well, Fibonacci is the how much? What's the sequence of it? I believe it's. Like one, one, two, something, something. Can I look at the card? It's like 1, 1, 2, I don't know if it's been actually sequenced, I don't know, 3, 5, 14, I don't know, I don't know the sequence, 10, then it goes up to like 51 if like a full hand, so basically the more cards you have in your hand, the more damage it does, uh, either way, let's just do this, I don't know, alright, um, I wish we win very soon. I don't want to leave my mob banks though. I gotta win quickly. More mob banks. Oh my god, yes. Give me them all. Oh, resident call with mob bank as well. Oh, baby. Resident call, baby. Let's go. Shit, should I do it? No. There you go. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34. There you go. There you go. Beautiful. You guys didn't Google at all. You guys are amazing. You guys didn't use any Google. I'm kidding. The next turn they're taking they're doing 88 damage at the end of this turn why so much why is this guy taking 88 in particular why is this guy getting screwed in particular is this like some anti-male propaganda 
Is it because he has slow? So I should block. Alright, how much gold are we getting here, guys? Let's, let's take a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 60 gold plus. Well, some of them are even better because we have 16 gold from the Mall Bank Plus. So I'm getting 12, 12, 16, 16, 16. We're rich. Love it. Yes. Alright, let's go ahead and do... um. This is our damage. How about we upgrade our damage, right? This is also damage. This is our damage. Let's upgrade it. Oh, you know what? It's time to bring in Resident Call. Oh, you son of a gun. Okay, that make that does make sense. To be fair, that does make sense. I should do alternate item before. Uh yeah, order is important. These are all self retaining. Can you play the armor? The wards are kind of nutty. The wards, I mean. The ward applies for every person that has a delayed attack. That's insane. Stone Calendar? Yes, please. Okay. Alright, let's gain some artifact and some strength. Actually, let's do Warpaint first so the analog is upgraded. Boom. Now we have four strength, two artifacts. And let's go ahead and do some more block plans. Let's do Block Calendar. Uh, let's do some of this. Do some Prime Time. What's up, Ezzy Dow? Oh, I actually stopped two of those debuffs. Easy. Didn't even think about that. Calling Bell? What? Creates one replica and add one curse to your drop at the start of each turn. You know what? I'm gonna say no. Play all my powers and all my things. Okay, this guy is insane. All my powers in my hand and my discard pile? Say no more. Oh, that was it? Oh. Yeah. I knew that. Um, we have how much do we have? Six plus six. Let's just play this. Mobbing's gonna run. No, not now, anytime soon. This card, your next discounted card is duplicated into your hand and cost zero. What? Your next discounted card is duplicated and cost zero. Let's try it out. Fast forward. So if I retain fast forward, then I can duplicate that and play it twice. How many cards am I retaining right now? I'm gonna do it. Let's try this out. Let's try this out. Okay. So I play fast forward, right?
I supposed to do it first? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Holy crap. Guys, I need to make more copy for this. This is, uh... Give me one minute. One minute. Do I want any of this? Bottle Lightning? Choose a skill card from your deck at the start of your turn. Won't shatter on its own. Okay, so with an upgrade, I get to choose a skill card at the start of my turn. It doesn't shatter on its own? Are you telling me that this is going to stay between... Won't shatter on its own. No, it's still power, but it's just a power that lasts for the whole fight, basically. Okay, it lasts for the whole fight. And the only way it shatters is if I, like, push it out of the way or, or, or force it to shatter, I guess. Okay. So this, it just basically is going to be there for the whole fight. I can choose a skill card at the... At the I mean, I, I, I guess, but it's also kind of... Remove targeted enemy buffs for three or five turns. Do you to use this on the transient? How useful is this? I mean, there's a lot of targets for this. Huh. There are a lot of targets for this. I like the idea of this, but okay, maybe I don't... Well, actually, this is actually pretty good as well. It's like a disarm for like two turns. If you upgrade it, it's pretty decent for two turns. This is actually a nutty card. Upgraded, they lose four straight for two turns? Ah, that's disgusting. That's actually disgusting. That's like a very good card. Especially with the ability to retain, you can use that as disarm. Like disarm for one, that's amazing. Negative four. Cards in your hand cost one less energy and are upgraded for each turn they are retained. It replaces my cr chronometer. Cr chronometer? Chronometer. So not only do I get them to be the one less energy like normal, but I also get it to be uh, upgraded. Sounds good. Ahoy, Kite. How you doing, buddy? That would be crazy. You can get stream blow with chronograph. That would be nuts, yeah. Make stream blow zero and get upgraded indefinitely. Okay. Can, we imagine? can we get stream blow? That would be amazing. Let's go for elites. We have a lot of gold, because we, we, we've been making a lot of money. There's only one shop here. There's two shops here. So here, there's probably a better path. We get one less elite, but we get two shops. I just want to see more shops. It helps a lot, Festive. Thank you so much. Boom. Now that's... Upgraded to Malbec Plus. This is what I like to see. I want to hold on to it because I want to make sure I get Resident Call here. I, I want to get rich. That's all I care about r right now. I'm all about the money here. Oh, my coffee's ready. One sec. <laughs> What's up, Kazuchi? I wonder if I play MTG. I don't know. We might have MTG today. So, MTG, is, there's a lot of new changes coming up. They have this new set that I'm excited about. Obviously, they're doing ranking systems and turn <coughs> tournaments and all that stuff. So, I should probably be grinding a little bit harder. Got a little burnt out by MTG, though. I was playing it and I kind of got burnt out. Thread and needle, why not? Oh, I'll do multi plus. I don't care if I take damage, you know what? Let's let's make him weak first. Okay, let's do mobbing plus mobbing plus. Make him lose strength for the rest of his life. And get some thread and needle. So now we have just insane amount of block out of nowhere. Oh get by burn. I should have gets rid of burns, gets rid of curses. I mean it's nuts. What's haste do? For each card played a turn, gain 10% more, more from block. That's crazy, actually. 
Let's do this. Oh. Man, I, I'm, I have to get used to that. That's crazy. Yes, I like it. Blue Shift's really good. Just self retaining block that just gets better. Like, cheaper. That's, like, why not? Yeah, Stone Condor, but also Rage Command. So, like, I, I, I just so many different things going on. I don't even know. Like, I'm not keeping track of it. So much to keep track of. I want to upgrade this. I want to upgrade this because I want this to become lose four strength for two turns. Wait, they're actually gonna about to blow up. Um, um, they counter me because I'm slow damage. Um, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt right now. I guess we could do like. Oh, I'm silly. If I had done Flay and then Resident Call. Wait, what does that do? What is that telling me? It gives me feathers? What is that symbol on the top left? Top right? Oh, retain. Gives me retain. Okay. Right. Got it. Retain. Yeah, I knew that. Resident Call. Oh, I forgot to do that first. So we blocked a little bit, but not quite enough. No pro no worries, though. Where's Mall Bank? I want to find Mall Bank, and I want to find the um, Resident Call again. So, I'm actually going to just go ahead and get rid of everything, because I just want to find Mall Bank. I mean, I want to find uh, Resident Call. I know that's really greedy. I also want to just exhaust everything, because I want to make sure that we, um... Try to find more ball Mall Banks or more healing, at least. Yes, more Mall Banks, exactly. Like that. Like that. Perfect. Yeah, we're so How you doing, buddy? Welcome, welcome to once in a row, man. Thank you, appreciate that. Sorry, this is this class is a little bit. It's a lot. I'm, I'll try my best to just to get it going. Economics, boom, oh. boom. Boom. That's good enough. You know what? I Continue can end it now. Great work. Thank you, dude. Alright, yeah. I'm happy now. That's a lot of wall banks. Alright, can, can we just, like, end the game now? Mercury? Guys, watch it. Mercury is very intense. Whoa! Deal 9 damage. If this kills, permanently gain a card based on enemy intents. Yes, please. There are 14 intents in the game. Each have their unique, own unique card. Well, this is going to be something we're going to permanently get. So let's see what we get here. I should pick something else. But okay, let's, let's go ahead and do um, something that attacks. Like, Flay. Primetime. And, uh, yeah, sure not. So, the tournament is going to kill, and we're going to get a permanent card. We're getting Raletando, apply 15 slow. A card that applies 15 slow? First mod for today, yeah. Is Mario going to work again? Hey, what's up, Mars Verse? No, it has a built-in Astrolab. Uh, that doesn't seem that good. 15 slow. It's too cost. I mean, okay, 15 slow is a long time, but whatever. We'll do it. We're rich. Jesus. 
Bronze skills. Restore HP to the last turn's HP. Self retaining. This is self retains, and then if I take a lot of damage, I get it right back. That's pretty good. Not to mention that because it's self retaining, it becomes down to zero. Do I care about this? This is like a buffer, like a backwards buffer. Maybe even better than bu backwards buffer because you don't have to worry about like incidental damage. Well, unfortunately, we don't have to. Do we can't fight the heart because we're not doing Act Four. I want to try to. Someone has to tell me how to do mods, like get to Act Four with mods, because uh, every time I start up a mod, I don't have the I don't have the ability to get keys. I would love to do Ascension Twenty Act Four mods. I would love to do it. Let's do that though. That sounds interesting. Good for this fight in particular. Ooh, so Radic Time though is pretty good for this fight, I would say, right? Let's add in. Um, what do we want to play here? We could just just do that. Just start with self retaining that. So I'm gonna take massive damage here because. Check this out, guys. Check this out. Oh, I just I messed up. No, we're f we're fine. We're fine. So we're gonna take damage. Yes, but we're gonna heal back up. Could have maybe got more value out of that, but the sound effect is pretty cool. Hmm. Oh, this guy's hurting me a lot. It's not nice. Not nice at all. Can I do double? Or, can I do Orichalcum plus Orichalcum? Is that is that does that work? Can I try it? Whoa! Old timer sounds nutty. He's dead at the end of this round. We didn't get to get our mall bank out, though. That's unfortunate. No mall bank for us. President call. Yes. Okay, we have a lot of gold. Chrono elasticity. Apply five times X slow to all enemies and gain five times X haste. Now that's kind of insane because haste applies ten percent more block for each card I play, and then I mean I don't care about slow that much. Haste I don't really care that much. Prayer wheel seems kind of late. I guess I, what I want to move is uh, some of these cards are kind of awkward, right? So like what's what's that what's not working well in this deck? I think double lock plans feel bad. What's up, Jayman? How you doing? This, this this character creates temporary relics. Yep, the orbs. The the basically, I'm creating replicas, which are relics and other things. Double lock planes feels kind of weird though, because I have so much retain as it is. Um, what else is weird? Nice. How was it, man? Was it good? I like thinking ahead. Enlightenment seems pretty good. Enlightenment because you can have so much retain. So enlightenment plus rage command number two. Oh, uh, this just got nutty, guys. Enlightenment with rage command number two. Check this out. Now we're gonna get some damage. Oh well, naturally this is gonna happen, but we can get enlightenment right because we have alternate timelines. And if that alternate timeline is upgraded, I can get. Rage Human number two and Enlightenment together. We can play both of them, but let's just do this right now. And we're gonna win the game in three turns. And we get nine block because all of them had delayed attacks, so that's actually insane. Don't want this guy to attack. Who's doing the most damage? This guy. Get out of here. Nice. 
Yeah, rally time that would have been interesting, huh? Just got back from. It was good. It was safe. It's solid 7.5 out of 10. You know what? I just saw last night for the first time Avengers Affinity War. I'm torn between that. Uh, I thought it was a very good movie, Affinity War. But, uh. Boy, am I excited for the movie coming out this year. Because they left me with my Jimmy's Russell. Yeah, that was a, that. That scene was so. It's funny because everybody was exploring that scene on social media. Like it was super meme, super memed. And I just finally understood what that scene was all about. That I don't feel so good. It was a very good movie. So we just win now. Now, one thing I don't like is that I didn't get as many mobbings as I wanted. Nah, I didn't really I didn't really think about the highlands. But it's because of the spidey sense. Is that is that why? The spidey sense? I was I was like a half tired kind of watching it, trying to fall asleep. I'm not really um All these to be upgraded, that's why I'm I'm holding on to them. I'm taking damage now so I can get upgraded and also can get cards roll here. This is gonna be a tough one. I can do pattern shifts, so let's do pattern shifts. Oh, that's actually insane. Put an enemy to sleep. Okay. I had pattern shift to change the... I can put her to sleep, but... I think I wanted to do pattern shift and do overtime instead, but we're gonna try... So I haven't seen the sleep mechanic yet, so I wanna see it. Shift just makes them kill themselves? It's disgusting. So if we do stacked right here, just stack four seconds, we'll go right back up next turn. I don't need to heal that much actually. Yo, let's let's sit. Let's sit see. Let's sit see. Thanks for Twitch Prime. Welcome. Appreciate the support. Might as well though. Alright, I'm not really making any progress here. I didn't get to see what, what I would get if they were sleeping. Oh well. Rage commands. I just want to tell me who tries to see how much it means. That Tano is like one of the things I want to get rid of, actually. Alright, so... If I do... If I do economics and then fast forward... Wait a second. Oh, you can't duplicate yourself? Come on.
This guy's 23 slow. Thirty-one slow. Thirty-four slow. Three hundred fifty percent damage, more damage. Okay. All that for that feels bad. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. This guy has a lot of rage command on him. Does he know what I want to do? I really just want to get... I'm getting so much wards because of all the late attacks. So the late attacks are like... Playing as much rage command is, gives me a form of block. I mean... Of course you guys knew that, but where the hell are my um my mall, my mall bank? Oh, I only have three turns. We gotta end now. All right, this this is getting a little interesting. Yes, this gives me healing. Why not? Disciple. So all the information you guys need in the title and on the screen as well. <laughs> so, I will uh, let you guys <laughs> figure that one out. I'll, 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 I'll stop answering that question. I'm going to do this because this allows me to do the... Um, my whole... Rage Command and Enlightenment combo. Bang marbles. Hey, uh, Angon, welcome, man. Glad you, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Blue spaghetti versus green spaghetti. Check this out. Bam. 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 Full block. Double rage. No problem. If I take a lot of damage here, we have stack four seconds, so it's all good. They lose strength? Apply two additional debuffs to each existing debuff. I want to try that. Did I see that correctly? Monka S. Oh. Okay, I was worried, but now I'm not worried. Because I kind of want to... I want to get Mall Bank out. Um, is that really greedy? Maybe. I could kill him now, but I want to get Mall Bank. Where the hell is my Mall Bank? Oh, I can also kill with this. I 
guess I can heal up to four. Uh, that's, a, that's a four, but I can heal a decent amount. No, we don't have this moment. We, we, we had we had lethal, but I'm trying to heal up here. Yes, resonant call because I want to play mobbing twice. I want to heal back up from last turn too. And we have crazy amount of block now. And now, now we can end the game because now we have all that gold. Let's get, actually, let's get some more healing. Just keep playing powers. We get, we get all this healing from Burfiz Urn, right? And then, um, I mean, I could also get Blood Pot as well. And we have so much block right now because of plated armor and all that stuff. So, like, I know I'm being a little greedy, but might as well milk the healing that I have. Deal 70 damage to all enemies for each replicas? Nuts. More healing, and then we're going to go end it. Alright. So, we got decent healing. We also got some decent gold. This is an interesting card. I'm gonna skip though. All right, want to remove that pain? And what do we want to do? Oh, do we like train spoon in this? Cards that exhaust will sometimes get discarded instead. How is that relevant to us? Let me see. That means I can potentially get. Stack four seconds again. Or the cards that I exhaust of Astral Life don't get exhausted. So this is really bad. I only have one card that exhausts that I want to bring back. Fourth that's interesting actually. No, so we basically have uh the ability to pull things of alternate timeline with to find enlightenment and rage command. So I kinda of just maybe want more of these. What is this? Game haste? I have all this gold, nothing to do with it. All this strength and nothing to do with it, huh, Batman? Okay, okay, okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Check this out, alright? Get rid of this. Give me my rage commands. My rage commands. Now, do this again. Give me my enlightenment. And give me my... My bird face urn. Give me this. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. So that's gonna be... Half his life. We gotta upgrade enlightenment ASAP because that means Rage Command stays at one and then, then it becomes broken. Rage Command at one is just a broken card. And we also came to the conclusion that we can also. Whoa! Whoa! We can create replicas of. A few things. I don't really care about that though. Put him to sleep, why not? Go to sleep, my friend. My goal here. Hold on to Mall Bank, Resident Call, they get upgraded. And now we can do Mall Bank duplicated. Hi, right, welcome up. Hi. I don't care. It's all good. Sure. Sure. Oh, I, I missed it. What, what what happened there, actually? 
Well, I missed it for a second. What just happened with the, um... The rage commands. What did I play that caused rage making to happen like that? It was removing the debuff, is that what happened? Checked. <laughs> Checked. No rage command. Sure, we found there's no rage command. All right, now I'm like struggling for damage. This is sorry, this is taking way too long. My apologies. Let's, let's fix that. Let's fix that prom of no damage. Let's fix that. Eh, fair enough. Prom fixed. Ooh, we're so rich, but for what? I bet you feel a big shot, don't ya? Dun, 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 dun. I like to ruin lyrics, don't I? Oh, I can get rid of that. That's cool. That's a nice little counter. So there's a card called Fast Forward. For each of your relics or replicas, you play two cards from your deck or something like that. Something crazy. No, I still have, I'm still holding my mic. I'm still holding my mic. I'm hoping this is good enough. Like, I hope that sound is good enough right there. Oh, boy. Earn. Alright, let's play some Raletando. 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 Ale, Alejandro. There's, wait, apply 15 slow? Oh my god, I just realized, wait a second. Apply 15 slow means 150 plus, 150 percent more damage to start with, if you don't have any slow at all. I just re oh wait, I just realized, that's actually pretty nice. More gold, at this point gold doesn't mean anything. Let's upgrade enlightenment. And I think this deck is actually insane. So once it's like, does what it wants to do, which is like Rage Command. Alright. So Rage Command... Oh, we already got the first Rage Command. We got Pattern Shift as well. Alright, so let's do Enlightenment. I want to upgrade Rage Command, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. I retain and I upgrade it. And... So now we're going to do War Paint. Then we're going to do Rage Command, Resonant Call. Okay. And we're gonna do another rage command. Now the reason why I'm doing that is because I can heal back up next turn. A 
In fact, I'm gonna stagger them. Seems crazy. I know. It's nuts. I'm absolutely nuts, but we're gonna heal it up. In fact, maybe I don't heal it up. Maybe I don't care. I don't care. They're taking how much damage? Enough. Not not enough just yet, but okay. I do care a little bit. Now now they're both staggered. This is ah, uh, it's getting kind of awkward. How about we do this? I'll do it. I staggered them. That's, uh... I was a little bit... Dubious. I mean, I, un I unstaggered them, rather. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Yes, 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 yes! Okay, guys. Wanna have some fun? You guys wanna have some fun right now? All right, guys, let's have some fun. Oh, by the way, that's insane. That's an insane card. In fact, this is like piercing out on steroids. You guys want to see this? Check this out. Flay, flay. And then we can do even more debuffs. So, you know what? That wasn't enough. Beats per minute. That's a little, it's a little late, isn't it? So if we do this and then this and then this, we should win. Maro Rato deal 17 damage applied 3 weak gain 15 haste this is this character is a lot going on So I'm getting blocked because of this. So delayed attacks, Rage Gun is a delayed attack. So if you notice on the bottom of their screen, bottom of their, on their debuff bar, they have two delayed attacks. So that's two Rage Commands. And then for each one of those, I'm getting a three block, a little ward that's three block that exhausts. So it's a zero cost card that plays. So it's three block for each of that. So for it, for him and for him, it would be like three, 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 three for every one, right? So, so I got like 12, plus I got plated armor, 11, and then I have Orichalcum. So I'm just getting blocked like crazy. But now, if we play Recurrence, now what's important about Recurrence is that it it gets um, it gets rid of it applies Rage Command immediately. So that's that whatever it's doing. So now it's reapplying debuffs like more negative strength, but then it's also doing 168 damage. All right, that was fun. It was very time consuming, but like very complex. Now I got the hang of it. <laughs>